Welcome in to Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Today's show is presented by Manscaped. You can use the promo code Seahawks at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. We'll tell you more about what they offer coming up later on in the show. Today, we are focusing on five roster moves the Seahawks should make prior to training camp. We'll go over all of those in just one second, but before we do, all month long, we've been promoting the Noti Gang here on the channel, and I got to thinking, well, does everybody know how to create a YouTube account and join the Noti Gang? Well, let's walk through that real quick, just so you make sure you know how to do so, so you can be a part of the Noti Gang here on Seahawks Today. Click sign in, create an account, fill out the information, then go to Seahawks Today, click that subscribe button, and turn on notifications so you never miss a moment of what we're doing each and every day covering this team like no one else is. And when you do join that Nota Gang, drop a comment that you're a part of the Nota Gang in the comment section. So the Seattle Seahawks are gearing up for training camp. We're just about a week away. And when I look at this Seahawks roster There's some obvious moves that this team could look at to sharpen things up, to be a lot better off when this team hits the field next week. And I want to go over those things. Let's start out number one, the obvious one, pay DK Metcalf, right? That to me seems to be the thing that should be priority number one. I know that a lot of people have talked about the quarterback position or other needs along this team, but there is nothing more important right now for the Seattle Seahawks than getting a long-term deal done for DK Metcalf. Not trading him, no. You have to do whatever it takes to keep DK Metcalf in Seattle for a very long time. To recap the DK Metcalf saga, he did not report to minicamp amid contract negotiations, and he would not be able to recover fines if he misses training camp, if the holdout were to continue. He's also coming off of foot surgery, so it will be interesting to see how DK looks after all of that. But nonetheless, I'm excited to see him in Seattle this year. Hopefully a deal gets done for him to be a part of this team for a very long time. It's not going to be cheap to pay DK Metcalf. If you look at the highest paid receivers in the National Football League, there's your top five, Tyreek Hill, the highest paid at $30 million with Devontae Adams at $28 million, DeAndre Hopkins at $27.25, Cooper Cup after the triple crown season that he had last year, $26.17. I think everybody's kind of comparing DK to A.J. Brown, the A.J. Brown range of $25 million. You'll look at the next group of guys, Diggs, Moore, Keenan Allen, Cooper, Chris Godwin. There is a significant drop-off. So, I think $25 million seems to be the appropriate range when it comes to paying DK Metcalf there. So now the million-dollar question for this Seahawks team, or millions-dollar question for this team going forward. Will DK Metcalf get an extension before the season begins? Can they come to terms? We know DK wants to be there. We know the Seahawks want him to be a part of their future for a long time. But can they sort all this out and get DK a deal done? Let me know in the comment section. This is our pinned comment today. Type Y for yes if you think a deal will get done. Type N for no if you don't think a deal will get done. Let me know one way or the other. You're about to get an ad break. Take advantage of it while the ad's playing. Let me know how you think this is going to go down. Y for yes, N for no. Next up, I think the Seahawks need to find a role for K.J. Wright. And here's what I mean by that. I'm not saying that the Seahawks necessarily need to sign K.J. Wright to get back on the football field because with the change in defensive scheme, don't know if there's necessarily a fit for K.J. Wright in what the Seahawks are wanting to do under new defensive coordinator Clint Hurt. But nonetheless, K.J. Wright has made it known he wants to be back in Seattle in some way, shape, or form, whether that's as an assistant coach or working with the coaching staff in some way, shape, or form, K.J. Wright wants to be in Seattle, and I would love to see the Seahawks find a way to bring K.J. Wright back one way or the other. We've already heard from general manager John Schneider that he would like to see a non-playing role for K.J. Wright come available of sorts. We know how much he loves Seattle, wants to be a part of this organization for a very long time, spent 10 seasons there, 
Pro Bowl or Super Bowl champion, one way or another, not necessarily on the field, but just to have K.J. Wright back and what he can do to coach up these young guys on this defense, I don't think there's anything but positives that come out of the idea of finding a way to get K.J. Wright back in Seattle. So how about you guys? Do you want to see K.J. Wright back in Seattle? I'm not even saying on the field, just in some way, shape, or form. Let me know in the comments section. Type 50 if you want to see K.J. Wright back with the Seahawks in 2022 in some way or another. Got a great deal that we are offering our viewers of Seahawks today from Manscaped. You can get some boxer briefs, our Boxer 2.0 collection, 20% off now, plus free shipping. Look, your lady, she's got high expectations, and you need to come out with the best, right? Here's what we're going to do for you. If you go to manscaped.com right now and use the promo code Seahawks at checkout, we're going to give you 20% off plus free shipping, a deal just for viewers of Seahawks today. So go ahead and get yours now while supplies last. Seahawks today presented by Manscaped, manscaped.com, promo code Seahawks for 20% off plus free shipping. Next up for the Seahawks, I think that they need to review their offensive line options. And here's what I mean by that. According to Pro Football Focus, not too long ago, they ranked the Seahawks offensive line as the worst in the NFL. Now, I think they're better than that, than what they're given credit for. But when you have young guys as your bookend tackles, with Charles Cross and Abraham Lucas, who were picked in the first three rounds of this draft, they need time to develop. I do think they're going to start right away, but you need to have some guys that could potentially provide some depth and back them up. And it's not just those tackles. It's the interior as well. Here's some notable free agents on the offensive line. J.C. Treader still available. He could be a lot better at center than what the Seahawks have to offer right now. Dwayne Brown, although he was arrested in the L.A. airport a while back, he's still available, former Seahawk. Eric Fisher, who spent this past year with the Indianapolis Colts, he's still out there, had a nice run with the Kansas City Chiefs. And then Darrell Williams at offensive guard is also still available as well. Some quality offensive linemen still available in free agency. Something the Seahawks should consider is looking at all of their options, weigh all their options for that offensive line. Also, I would look at for the Seahawks reviewing the edge and linebacker positions. And, you know, when, when you look at this Seahawks team, I know that they have some guys to be excited about at a couple of these positions, like Jordan Brooks and Boy Mafe, who they selected in the second round of the draft. But this group could certainly use some more depth. They could – I don't think it would hurt them at all to find guys – that would be a good fit for just this year to be stopgap players while you can continue to develop other guys. I mean, some notable free agents when it comes to edge rushers and linebackers include Jason Pierre-Paul. Also, former Seahawk Carlos Dunlap is still available right now, as well as Anthony Barr, who had a good run with the Vikings, and then Trey Flowers, who most recently played for the Detroit Lions, is also available out there as well. So, how about you guys? Who's a player the Seahawks should sign? It amazes me. Here we are this far into free agency, training camp just a week away, and there's still some quality talent out there. So what do you guys think? Who is a player the Seahawks should sign that's still available in free agency right now? Let me know in the comments section a player that comes to mind who the Seahawks should sign, whether it's somebody we've mentioned or haven't mentioned, let me know. And if the Seahawks do make a signing, You'll be the very first to know here on Seahawks Today. We're covering this team like no one else is. News, rumors, trains, free agency, and more. And make sure you're part of the Nota gang. Turn on the notifications so you are the first to know exactly what's going on with your Seattle Seahawks here on Seahawks Today. Last but not least is the wide receiver position. I think the Seahawks should review their wide receiver options. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, Tyler, the Seahawks already signed Marquise Goodwin. Well, here's what I would say to that, is that the remaining available free agents are better than Marquise Goodwin, in all honesty. There are better free agents available at that position. And the rest of the Seahawks receiving core, when you go beyond your top two guys of DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, 
are pretty unproven, essentially. So whether it's Odell Beckham Jr., which I don't know if Odell's going to be ready to go week one, Julio Jones, who's coming off a down year, Will Fuller, Emmanuel Sanders, all these guys are quality vets. Now, when it comes price-wise, I know the Seahawks don't want to spend a lot of money, but you owe it to yourself to put together the best roster possible in theory, right? And so if you can potentially upgrade, move on from a guy like Marquise Goodwin, for example, and maybe go with OBJ or Julio Jones as your number three option, I don't see why not, potentially. So with that said, if you had to pick a wide receiver, who would it be? Let's go with those top two options we showed you there. Odell, Julio Jones, let me know in the comments section. Type OBJ for Odell Beckham. Type JJ for Julio Jones if you had to pick between one of those two to potentially be another receiver for your Seattle Seahawks.